Hello, hello, welcome to the channel. Today I have something new to show you. So this was sent to me by a company based in the UK called Race Sim Engineering. And it is their throttle and clutch upgrade for the Fanatec CSL pedals. Um, so I guess you can get an idea what these are for. These are for improving um, the sensations from those pedals. If you watch my review for the Fanatec CSL pedals, something I've mentioned, in fact, in a few videos where I featured the pedals is I'll talk about how bland they feel and this is something that will certainly I'm sure is going to give the pedals a nice feel so kind of a premium mod um, so not inexpensive of course as you might expect but um, yeah this might give the pedals a really nice feel and I'm expecting they'll, I expect they'll do a really really good job um, so they come with this printed instruction it's on two sides printed so uh, yeah lots of information there should be really easy to install so I don't think there's really much of an issue there on how that works but um, let's have a quick look, quick look at this so this is the throttle mod uh, so stainless steel parts obviously lots of moving pieces here and uh, nice and solid big spring there uh, a lighter spring to go with it so if you want a lighter feeling sensation you can use that instead but I think I'm going to prefer that one there so we'll try that one out um, so yeah, mainly metal and some 3D printed bushings here, like those washer bits there, there and there. Uh, that is a plastic sleeve. But uh, yeah, some basic 3D printed parts there. But other than that, all metal, very sturdy. And uh, yeah, looking forward to checking this out. So on to the clutch one. So immediately you can see there is a very thick, sturdy spring on there uh, compared to that one or indeed that one, I can see it is a lot stronger. Obviously there to give us a nice clutch effect. So it'll go on your pedal, something like that. Of course on the bottom one it's a lot lower. So it's like that. You can see there is a difference there. Of course on the clutch one you need like an effect and this is why what will happen is the spring will kind of push underneath and it'll just kind of make a nice sensation when it sort of pushes underneath, which I can't really emulate here because it's just too strong. But what I'll do next is get these mounted onto my CSL pedals. You can have a quick look at them. So it's not here with you. I'm not gonna mount them to my sim rig today. Uh, this is really just a quick first look at them. Introduction, um, if you will. Um, also comes with this, which you obviously saw in the corner of the frame there. Uh, you get some tools, hex key, spanner, um, screw and a plastic washer thing. Not sure what that's going to be used for, but I guess I'll find out in a bit. Also, before um, I move on to uh, showing you these installed, they also sent me these springs, uh, the brake tuning kit for the Fanatec CSL load cell pedal. So you may recognize this if you do follow my channel. I'll put a link in the description as I have uh, ran out a mod video on using these with the CSL load cell brake. So uh, just so you can see, Recognize that? Yeah, it's basically the same as my video, but they sell these in the UK rather than me. I, I bought mine from AliExpress, but they also sell that. So if you do have like um, low cell break, you might want to pick these up at the same time. If you are picking up this, these are fairly cheap, so uh, might be worth doing it at the same time. Save on the postage and all that. Uh, but yeah, so that's the products they sell, guys. It's this, this, and uh, and those. So uh, yeah. As I said, link in the description. But next, what I'm going to do is I'll get these set up on my pedals and we can have a quick look at them. Obviously, I'll change the, I'll change the camera angle as well so we can get a good look at them. Okay, guys, we're ready to rock and roll. So all installed, uh, throttle clutch. Um, installation is not technically difficult. The process is very simple. It's just a couple of screws there and one um, kind of bolt that goes through there. It is fairly difficult to get that top bolt in though because what you need to do, you tighten those that bottom piece first and then you need to basically get get some compression on that and pull it and it is a stiff, stiff spring there. So it is quite tough to get it in there. You sort of like put it in part way and just kind of jimmy it in and you'll get there in the end. But yeah, it's quite a lot of work to get that one in. Um, note that um, I have it in the top slot, which is the lightest um, position. And um, yeah, it feels pretty good. And there is the throttle one. There you go, nice and easy. Um, certainly increases the tension. And uh, yes, yeah, feels quite nice. I have put these on the floor and had a bit of a feel of them, just over my feet, just to see what they're like. And uh, yeah, it's a nice amount of tension on there. It's about right. In fact, I wouldn't mind maybe a tad more, but 
it's not adjustable you can't add any preload onto this i could maybe add something in there and just basically make it you know stronger by just basically putting it under more pressure you can do that i suppose so i could do that but i'll say it's, it's, it's okay as it is it's you know it's, it's better than it was you know and that's so it's a nice it's a nice upgrade over the original pedal and yeah it's very smooth you can see it moving around and uh yeah just fine no uh no impediment to the motion of the pedal at all. It still has the you know, full motion, um, as does the clutch. And uh, and there you go. So that, that's it. First look at these things. Um, I'm going to get them mounted to Simrig, just test them for a couple of weeks, and I'll, I'll put out a full review. But you know, essentially, you can see what you're getting here. Just a uh, nice little upgrade for the Funatec CSL pedals. And there you go. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye bye.